unique engine, but I haven't seen it here in the United States before. Yes, this is the current time that we've introduced the engine in the United States. We have been to the Sun and Fun last uh, on, on April, and this is the second show we are doing. Uh, basically, the engine has been uh, uh, running and uh, is in production from 2011. We and basically we sold in uh, in uh, Europe and uh, in uh, Russia and South Africa. So, what's so different about this engine, say, comparing to a Rotec 912? Oh well, this is an engine that, first of all, has been. Uh, uh, design for aeronautic application that is uh, already a big difference uh, compared to Rotex and uh, this is uh, a, a bigger displacement have a reduction gearbox as Rotex is a, a, a completely cool li um, liquid. Liquid, liquid engine and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, a engine that is designed as a block so everything is installed on the engine it's very easy to install because we have the uh, water tank the uh, generator the regulator water regulator also the sun relay everything is installed on the engine so it's very, that make very easy also the ACU the electronic uh, counter unit there are two ACU are installed on the end so that makes very easy installation and also reduce the risk of a wrong installation. Now what kind of all out weight are we then? The engine weight uh, uh, 185 pounds dry that means uh, we do not include the water, the oil, and uh, the uh, radiator, and the exhaust. This is, but uh, the wiring loom and every, all the other stuff is already included in the weight. So now, is this a dry sump or a wet sump? Are it's a semi-dry sump. You know, consider that what is uh, the big difference compared to any other engine in aeronautics that our crankshaft is run on ball bearing. So we have um, uh, and uh, the connecting road on the road bearing. So we have only we need uh, only splash uh, lubrification on the crankshaft, and that this engine can run also with uh, oil pressure with the zero oil pressure, and it cannot run forever with zero oil pressure. We don't have any oil radiator, so there is no risk of a leakage of uh, because there is no tube going in in and out the engine, and um, this is a very special uh, 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 solution that we we add to uh, this is one of the future feature of the engine that is very uh, rare to find. What kind of horsepower are we putting out with the engine? We have uh, uh, actually we introduced uh, three versions uh, power set one is 115 horsepower uh, the, then the 130 horsepower and the 150 horsepower. The difference between the 150 and the 130 horsepower, the engine runs at different RPM, uh, a higher RPM for the 130 horsepower, so the engine is provided with a different gearbox because uh, the propeller uh, speed is keep in both versions at uh, 2400 uh, RPM. Instead, the 150 horsepower uh, have a different displacement. So the 130 and the 115 is 2.2 liters. The 150 is 2.5 uh, liters. And what kind of TBO are we looking at for the engine? Actually, the TBO for the 115 is 2200. Uh, for the one uh, 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 thirty is um, eighteen hundred, and for the one fifty is uh, fifteen hundred uh, hour. But uh, we uh, we think that we can increase uh, this TBO as soon as we start to have uh, feedback from uh, from the engine that we have sold. And what type of warranty comes with the engine? Only one year warranty, uh, and uh, the engine comes um, with um, a system that is called HSA, that is uh, uh, has an unsettled um, uh, as as status annunciator That is a system that you can see on the back of this uh, uh, 
uh, you can see later. And uh, this system uh, is connected to the two ACU by can line and to the fuel delivery system and he um, uh, give to the pilot information about the status of the whole uh, electronic uh, installed on the engine and then the status of the two pump fuel pump hi this uh, as i was telling to you before this engine comes with the health status annunciator that is this instrument that is a uh, uh, um, designed by Pat Avionics, it is uh, our partner in this project. So I introduce to you uh, Davide from uh, Vigena from Pat Avionics, and that will explain the, all the function of this system. So what is this instrument called? The system is called the Health Status Annunciator. It's basically a system that allows each pilot to take under control the engine in a very simple way. So. Uh, graceful failover of the ECU, as uh, Stefano was talking about before. We're actually also able to tell the pilot in a very simple way with just a big green light ready for takeoff, right? Uh, let's assume that you have multiple people using the aircraft. You want to know that people are actually taking off with the engine uh, and oil temperature at the, at the right level, at the right threshold, right? So we actually have a CAN airspace open protocol, so you just basically just connect your device to the health status annunciator and you get all the information about who's been using the engine and how that person has been using the engine. That's obviously very interesting for diagnostic reasons as well. I can go on and on, I think, I think you get the point. The core point here is that we don't think the safety should be an option. So each engine comes with a system. So what type of generating system do we have for charging the battery on this uh, engine? Uh, we have uh, uh, the generator is integrated in the engine, so it's uh, oil cooler and also the regulator is on the engine, is on this side of the engine and uh, this uh, is a 300 watts so it's a 25 amp of uh, the power output of this uh, generator the engine can run without battery up over 1500 uh, uh, rpm the generator is, uh, in, uh, is able to be guaranteed the, the power that the SU uh, for the SU and for the one uh, fuel pump so if someone wanted an engine here at the show how long would it take before they could have delivery and what type of uh, service outlet have you currently or are you looking at in the near future to deliver the engine actually the um, the delivery time for the 130 horsepower is uh, around two um, two months or two and a half months that depends on the order we will get now at the uh, in Oshkosh and uh, for the 150 horsepower it will take uh, probably four months around four months from, from now if we get an order if we, somebody wants to put an order today and, and we are here to set up a, a service uh, network so we have very good contact now and we hope when we come back in Italy to keep uh, this contact and to uh, and we are already uh, planning to do a training course for maintenance so um, we will uh, keep everybody informed through our website that when whenever we will have this network ready to give guarantee the, the support over here because uh, we think the support is uh, most important than just to start the engine. So if someone wanted to get in contact with you, what is the address for the website? The address is uh, www.mwfly.it uh, <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.